it worked so good? Just lined up well? Um, it was right over. Um, I mostly do FM passes. And a lot of people knew I was going to be on there. And I was saying demo and ham fest, so they were calling me. That's why. Probably that's the main reason, actually. Normally I'd make a few contacts and then let other people make contacts. So I kind of felt like I was hogging the bird a little bit, but they were calling me, so I mean. You got it. You got all these people here watching. So that's true. That's true. Now you all have to become satellite operators. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. That was really fun. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it couldn't have been a better demo. So thanks so much for hanging out. Come next year, too. Yep, yep. I think one of the things that made this one good is that it was a high. When it yeah. was 66 degrees at the, at the highest. It was. Point. It was pretty. Thank you, man. I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Much, yeah, man. Good job. All right, thank you. Yeah, that was, that was the best one I've, I've heard. I, mean, <laughs> I went to one of the last one pass, and it wasn't near this good yet. So. Yeah, that was, that was an exceptional right, pass, man. Good job. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, we stopped now. What uh, frequency is your up button? 430 something, 70 centimeters. You want to know the exact one, or? No, you just just your received No, because you adjust the higher frequency, and the uplink is 70 centimeters. So I mostly adjust that one. On your uplink. Uh huh. Yeah, wherever the higher frequency is. I mean, um, you have to adjust both sometimes. Close to anyway. Depends on the. People say just adjust the the receive. Well, the transmit's going to automatically drift, and you're, they're going to be oh. adjusting the receive to you yeah. on the center. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyway. that's probably single sideband linear satellites because yeah, Doppler's that, crazy on that one. Things. Yeah, I've done both of those, but there's never that many contacts. I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. What altitude is that satellite? In? Oh, I don't know. What satellite was that? That was AO91. I don't know. I'd say like. It's higher than the ISS. The ISS is like 250 miles or something like that. It's so Leo, probably though. 300 or something. Mm -hmm. So what is that, 2 meter 440? Mm-hmm. It'll hmm. find out here. Now what's the filter you have on the, I guess the 2 meter side, right? Yeah, that's, I just got that recently. That's a low pass filter. Right. Uh, one of the issues we have with satellites is descents, and that helps it basically. So especially on SO50, which is a 2 meter downlink, or sorry, yeah, it's no two meter uplink, seventy centimeter downlink. On two meters, your third harmonic is on seventy centimeters, right on the downlink. And the SO50 satellite's fairly weak, so it's easy to get descents on that satellite. So that's I just got that recently. So the single sideband on this set demo, what was the same thing? Like uh, what was it? Two meter up and seventy centimeter down? No, so. Um, the one I did earlier is 70 centimeters up, two meters down. Okay, yeah. um, they're all over the place, you know. Um, it depends. It's roughly the same altitude. Or? Oh yeah, all the ones that I might work are roughly the same altitude. So like basically, the only ones that are different from like what I work now are the older satellites, like FO29 and AO7, because back then the government would take, you know, our satellites and put them in higher orbits. But the higher orbits are more expensive, I think. So nowadays most of them are Leo. Um, well. So the FO29 and AO7 are also LEO, but they're in the higher parts of LEO. So those passes can last like 20 minutes long, and you can talk to Europe on AO7 and FO29 easily. You can actually talk to Europe on that satellite. It's actually the highest FM satellite right now. I talked to Panama once on a single pass, and then off Alaska on a pass, a single pass. It was fun. Best way to contact you through the YouTube? Uh, you can go to QRZ and look up okay. my email. But, um, yeah. You know my call sign? I'll find it. Yeah, I mean, you can just Google it. Yeah, go to my YouTube channel and you can find my call sign from there. Okay. Yeah. How right, far do you, Great demo. Thank you. How far do you usually end up having to, to go when the, to adjust for the Doppler shift? So, on uh, two meters, it's about three kilohertz plus or minus. On 70 centimeters, it's about it's 10 kilohertz plus or minus. So um, so what I did with that one is I, I found the center frequency. I have memories programmed for all the, the frequencies, and I've got the names on them, and I transfer that to the VFO. So I transfer the 70 centimeter frequency to the VFO, and then I tune down 10 kilohertz, so two clicks. And um, on the uplink, I turn it up. So depending on the radio, you don't have to adjust on the two meter downlink, but it does help me on these radios. 
when they have cutoff radials. Typically, the center frequency would be when it's directly overhead, and yep. then the shift is either from the horizon. Yeah. Horizon. And the, the difference, um, so on the uplink, you want to be below the center frequency when it's coming towards you. And on the downlink, you won't want to be higher. Okay. So it's reversed. Like, so you know a train comes by, you know how that works. So it's higher before and it's lower as it goes away. So when you're listening to a signal from the space station or from the satellite, it's higher as it's come towards you. But when you're transmitting to it, the satellite can't adjust. So you have to adjust for it. So it's listening above you, mm -hmm. right? And I'm transmitting below it. So it's kind of complicated, but it's fun, man. That was neat. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah, man. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks for the deal. Yeah. Great. Great job, John. Cool, man. I can't believe how many QCs I made. That? Oh, that was a bit that was amazing. I <laughs> swear I made like 15 contacts. You were like you were a rear DX station with a pileup calling yeah, exactly. you the whole time. <laughs> I really did. I mean, I was like. I was just happy to have them call me, man. Oh, yeah, that was great. I mean, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Good you. job, Thanks, sir. Carl. Just yeah. tell them in advance you're on, like, some really I, remote island, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The grid screen you were giving out was actually for North Korea. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> North Korea on Leo. Right. <laughs> an American. <laughs> Help in me, I'm in the prison somewhere. camp. You know? Yeah. <laughs> who who uh, put those sats? Uh, AMSAT put those satellites up. AO91 was put up by AMSAT. So you can, you can tell by the number, by the name. So it's AMSAT Oscar 91. So F, F, F029 is Fuji Oscar 29. So Fuji is Japan. I don't know what that's, but. Um, and there's like uh, SO50 was put up by Saudi Arabia. So you can kind of tell where they're from based on the prefix. So like IO86 was Indonesia. So yeah. Oh, now the sun's coming out. Yeah, right? I was telling somebody earlier, I was like, it was cold. I went in to it's get a cold cup of and then it's warm. And